fellow quadcopter enthusiast, and welcome to my review of the GEPRC Thinking P16 4K. There are several reviews of the GEPRC Thinking quadcopter, but very few, if any, of the 4K version featuring the Caddx Loris. I would like to take a moment to thank GEPRC for sending this to me for review. So what did I receive? A box. With various links to GEPRC social media and their company website. As I said before, this is the 4K version. I was sent the PMP model, which means you provide your own receiver. So what's in the box? A bag of various parts and pieces, including two straps, and a Caddx OSD board with wiring harness, some spare screws, a set of spare props, a screwdriver, some plastic zip ties, GEPRC stickers, and lastly, a GEPRC support card. And of course, the main attraction, the P16 itself featuring 40 millimeter gem fan 1636 four blade props. Here we have the newly released Caddx Loris 4K camera and the ribbon cable that connects the camera module to the DVR unit. The canopy is similar to that of the GEPRC Cine-Eye, only it has additional 25.5 millimeter mounting points, but also retains the 20 millimeter mounting points of the Cine-Eye canopy. I routed the receiver antennas through two slots in the rear of the frame. Here we can see the electronic stack, which consists of an all-in-one flight controller, VTX, and the Caddx Loris DVR board. Looking at the bottom of the quad, you can see that I mounted my receiver below the flight controller. I used a FreeSky RXSR receiver. GEPRC provided wiring for the receiver connected to the flight controller. I simply spliced into the wires that GEPRC provided which consists of positive and negative 5 volt power and a connection to the inverted S-Bus pad on UART number 2. Here we can see that they have four mounting points for the 1103-8000 kV motors, which is not uncommon for 1103s. The frame is virtually identical to the GEPRC Cine-Eye, though the Cine-Eye uses less common 1102-10000 kV four-hole motors. I like the fact that there is some cross compatibility between the two models. Additionally, the Cine Eye has proven to have an extremely durable and reliable frame, and I'm sure that will be the case here as well. The motors plug into the GEPRC 12 amp flight controller, allowing for easy replacement. The camera module uses a 19 to 14 millimeter adapter to connect to the canopy. I took the quick and easy route as it relates to the receiver wiring, and would certainly recommend you do a better job than I did here. The canopy attaches through the frame using four screws. This is far better than the two and three hole methods that I frequently see used on other models. Here we can see the connections that GEPRC provides for the receiver. Unfortunately, there is no wiring for the RXSR telemetry. That said, I have this working successfully on my Cine-Eye, which uses the same flight controller. These are the plugs for the BTX. There are two plugs. These plugs allow the canopy to be easily separated from the frame of the P16. The VTX is mounted towards the back of the quadcopter, whereas the Cine-Eye's VTX is mounted towards the front. I keep making reference to the Cine-Eye because there are many similarities between the two models. There is a good amount of heat shrink in what appears to be an adhesive insulating material that connect the wires to the motors. This is good to see since these can be difficult to repair if broken. Many of you would be happy to see there's an accessible connection for the Caddx included Loris OSD board. A big shout out to GEPRC for including the board and wiring. Here we have the USB port for connecting to Betaflight and my less than ideal receiver wiring. The flight controller comes pre-configured with Betaflight 4.1.2. Taking a closer look at the motors, we see that the P16 comes with 1103-8000 KV motors as I mentioned earlier. I used a 300 milliamp hour GmbHV battery while testing the P16. To accommodate larger batteries, the battery cage can be cut, and the battery can be supported with the included straps. Additionally, the battery can be mounted tulip bowl style. That said, 
I don't roll with the bowl. As a point of reference, this is my Cine Eye. I've cut the battery cage, which allows virtually any battery to be mounted to the quadcopter. Here is an alternate receiver mounting position, using the Cine Eye as an example, and the alternate VTX location. A side by side comparison. That concludes part one of the GetRC Thinking P16 review. Please subscribe so I can continue to bring you these reviews. Also, visit the GetRC link in the description below to get your own P16.